unique dining experience should not be confined to good food. Visual appreciation and culinary treats usually go this from Janina Chan. Well, it is a common place to find good food and art. Balabalo is actually the name of a sauce. Uh, it's, it's a fermented shrimp. It's just a staple food here in Rizal. The restaurant started years ago, around 1982. Uh, it's actually a studio, an art studio, and then it evolved into a restaurant because my father likes to cook also. Our best sellers here are the famous Minaluto. It's a, a variation of the Binalot. It's a big serving of uh, rice, uh, condiments, adobo, uh, we have adobo kangkong, we have inihaw. It's like one meal for 10 people. Exotic foods are their edge as they serve over 10 rare dishes like vanilla sena palaka, the adobong itik, and the sinabawang balot to name a few. Ibang dishes is a staple food in, in Rizal mm -hmm. and the others are uh, researched by my dad. The recipes are not really rare but they're just like forgotten. We're just reviving the old recipes farther down Rizal. We discovered that misawa and bayaw is also eaten. But it's good to know that courses which make use of endangered species have already been taken out of the menu. Endangered na yung sawa and bayaw, so we're not selling them anymore. We shifted to tapang usang, and right now we're selling uok, which is like mealworm or a grub. It's, like, it's made from a beetle. Their classic rekere is a sure pleaser for all those who are not in the mood for the more exciting and challenging food. And what makes the culinary experience truly worthwhile is the creative aesthetics brought about by the Folk Art Museum. The restaurant is also a gallery and a museum. It houses my father's paintings and other artists as well from Angola. His works features enchanted sceneries of, of Rizal during the old days. Even the waiters are artists themselves as they encourage customers to view their works. Watching other people's artwork also. It inspired them to do their own artworks in Southern here. So explore our own culture and have a day out in this truly unique Pinoy dining experience. This is Janina Chan reporting for RPN's Teen Watch. Thank you.